planning Halloween parties and get-togethers. They're trying to take advantage of Halloween season. Absolutely. It's fun. And we've got the perfect game to play, too. Our game guru, Jen Bartlett, a librarian at the Manchester Public Library, is here to show us <laughs> how to channel, channel Sherlock Holmes in this month's family game night. So... This game has no rules? It, it essentially has no rules. Yeah, um, wow. Your microphone, so it's about, yeah. it's, I apologize. It's oh, just, thank you. I don't want to. Go ahead. You're good. Thank you. Thank you, Scott. You're welcome. Um, so this is one box of now several boxes. What we are trying to do is we are trying to beat Sherlock Holmes in his... We're both running investigations at the same time. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. So... We start off with a case, and today's case is Dr. Goldfire. So Ooh, the, the box that comes. That's straight jacket picture. It is, yes. So this this game comes with ten different cases, and we again are investigators, and we're trying to beat Sherlock Holmes. So but we, we don't have know. to solve it before he solves. We it? do, and that is that is the hard mm. part. The game itself is really easy. Okay. What the fun part about this game is is we're doing a lot of storytelling and we're doing a lot of reading. It's kind of like an adult choose your own adventure. Oh, that's kind of cool. cool. Yeah. Um, so we're using the stories that are in here. We're using a directory. Of like names and places and all kinds of different things. I love how they've antiqued it and made it look yeah. so old, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. We're using right. newspaper articles and we have a map of London here as well. Yeah, it looks this map looks famous. <laughs> yeah. So we're we're just, we're just gonna get started. So oh, we need the Thames. and we need a reader, so we need someone to volunteer to read. So there's right, a lot I'll... of reading that goes on in this one. I can read for you. Um, and I would say about this game and the other ones as well is that these are de this is definitely an adult activity. Okay. I, I would say that maybe older teenagers, just because there's, it's Sherlock Holmes, and mm -hmm. we're solving crimes, we're solving murders, and other things in particular. So depending on the age of the people yeah, you play with, absolutely. those topics may not be for them. Okay. Um, so we... We just, we're going to go. We're going to go right now. Y'all okay. are going to get a little story time. Okay. Um, so we can, we will read until we we can go. All right. Um, right now? Right now. We're All going. Right. This is Good our luck. game, yes. We join Wiggins, Holmes, and Watson for an evening of relaxation and newspaper reading. And it's been an hour since 221B Baker Street went as quiet as the Diogenes Club, when Holmes leaps out of his seat and heads to his tobacco pouch near the chimney. Mrs. Hudson enters as Holmes is stuffing his pipe. Dr. Watson, there's a gentleman here for you. And she hands him the visitor's card. Keep okay. going? Keep going. Yeah. Right. G. Taubman Goldfire, Watson exclaimed. Show him in, please, Mrs. Hudson. A few moments later, a tall and slim man with a diaphanous skin is led into the room. Would you like to continue? I don't think I can read that, no? Nicole. I do apologize. His slimness is accented by the cutoff of his renegoat and his tight trousers, and he responds to Watson's enthusiasm with a polite nod of his head. Hello, John, he says with a high-pitched voice. Hello, John! <laughs> <laughs> I was actually thinking about you yesterday while reading your article on cerebral fever in The Lancet. Your analysis is brilliant. Dr. Goldfire, as your career, but we were all convinced of that as far back as the university. Continue to go? Well, yeah, we can keep going. All right. When uh, does the game begin? Yeah. So we've already started the game. Oh, we have. So we have. You have yes. to listen very closely to the story. We do. Are there clues in here? There are. So as we continue with the story, um, which is... Part of this page, the next page, and then here. Yeah, we'd be here okay. all hour. We, yeah. We would be, but so we can kind of, on our own, in the break, and before we head off to the next part, um, we will kind of read the part of this, okay. and then really essentially all you need is, for this game, is a table. Um, last night, my husband and I were playing this on the couch, so you really don't even need a table. But we do recommend a notepad, a notepad. and pen. Okay. Because you can see that we took some notes last night on the places that we visited, people we talked to, um, to try to decipher what was actually going on and who the who done it of sorts. Hmm. Um, so yes, there is that choose your own adventure aspect of this game. And uh, is there anything you move around the board or anything no. like that? Oh, yes, no. there are cases where um, in the past you've had to like really map out how many stops 
like the criminal would have made or the whatever would have made through the story with through the, the clues. story okay. and it's really important you know they moved two blocks west and then they moved one block south so you're trying to determine the time okay um, but the map is useful in many of the cases as well so this is Again, when I said this was a game, I really meant that in the lightest sense of... Um, it's, it's a cerebral. It, it is. It is. I, I think I may have pronounced a few of those words That's okay. correctly. That's okay. Awesome. That's okay. Thank you. Um, Reading on the spot. Well, yes. It's like we this. do it for work sometimes. Great day at 9 is moving on over to our sister station, The Wax. That's it. For our second half hour of the show. Beautiful have a great, eat, a great day. Enjoy the beautiful weather, oh right? Oh, my God. So spectacular.